Hello everybody! Today is a momentous day because I have decided that today I'm going to start a new health insurance company. And this is, first of all, my rates are going to be very, very competitive. They're going to compare extremely well to the rates offered by other health insurance companies. But I need your help because at the moment this is just me and my idea and I need more than just one person to run a health insurance company. I need a lot of staff and that is where you come in. I am imploring all of you to consider applying for a job in my health insurance company and I wish to add that I am a equal opportunities employer. So I am going to make a conscious effort to employ people from all sorts of cultural and religious backgrounds to work in my company. As a result of that though, we are going to have to impose a few small restrictions on what we can or cannot offer in the way of health insurance. There are a few things that we will not be able to cover as a result of this. And let me just give you a small you know, an insight on what sort of things we will not be able to cover as a result of the religious sensitivities of some of our staff. First of all, of course, there is contraception. Obviously, a lot of my staff are going to be Roman Catholic and they are going to have an issue with contraception, so we will not be able to cover you for the cost of contraception in any way, shape or form. Secondly, we are not going to be able to cover you for the treatment of gonorrhea, syphilis, HIV, AIDS and any other type of sexually transmitted disease because that is a lifestyle uh, of which many of my employees will not approve that they will have religi religious issues with and as a result we will not want to be seen to be supporting such lifestyle by treating the diseases that are associated with them. Similarly, we will not be covering treatment for cirrhosis of the liver and other diseases that are related to the consumption of alcohol because many of my employees are going to be Muslim and they frown upon such behavior. So we will not be able to cover that. On a similar vein, we will not be able to cover skin diseases such as melanoma and skin cancers if they are in any way related to prolonged exposure to the sun because again my Muslim staff have a rule that you need to cover your body pretty much all of your body in order to avoid exposure to the gaze of other people and to remain modest and as a result that would lead to a very much decreased exposure to sunlight so if you are suffering from an increased exposure to sunlight you have been dressing immodestly, clearly, and as a result, my Muslim colleagues will not be able to support you in your request for uh, help with the cost of your treatment. Sorry. Coronary heart disease and other complaints that are caused by gluttony will not be supported. We'll, we will not be able to cater for simply because gluttony is in the view of my Catholic employees, a deadly sin. And again, we do not want to be seen to encourage such behavior by paying for treatment of related diseases. Similarly, we will not be able to cover lung cancer, emphysema and other smoking related diseases because many of my employees are going to be Sikhs and according to the Sikh tradition, you are pro prohibited from smoking and the use of drugs in any way, shape or form. So that's out of the question as well. We also have to refuse to cover you for the cost of the treatment of mental health issues if these are related to or caused by anything such as drug use, again I refer to my Sikh employees, alcohol use, Sikhs and Muslims have an issue with that and homosexuality where Muslims and Christians and other religions have a big issue with that. So if any of those 
aspects of your behavior are related to your mental health issues, then we will not be able to cover you for that. Now, a lot of you may be meat eaters, and I have to warn you that if your disease is in any way related, any way related to the eating of meat, we are not going to be able to cover you because many of my employees are going to be Buddhists and they have a prohibition against the eating of meat. And as a result, they will not be able to support you. So if you are suffering from conditions such as pancreatic cancer, Creutzfeldt-Jacobs disease, and parasitic infections such as tapeworms and other types of worms and other types of parasitic infections that are borne by meat products, then we will not be able to help you. If you are suffering from debilitating conditions such as gout, which are also strongly connected with the eating of heavily saturated fat laden meat products, then again we are not going to be able to um, support your health claim there. Sorry. So, and finally, if you are suffering from toxoplasmosis as a result of close contact with pets such as cats, we will not be able to support your claim because a number of my employees have a strong issue with witchcraft. That is all. So, if you're suffering from anything else, then we will be able to support you in your health claim and we will be all too delighted to help you to a speedy recovery. Thank you very much.